Hey everybody, it's Cynthia Maynard. I hope you're doing well today. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I have a little bit of a project that kind of was born from seeing other people's online hauls for Tuesday morning, and I'm referring to the We Are Memory Keepers foldover tag set, and mine uh, never had it, and I even went a few times, and they just, they had a ton of other ones, and I got some, I got the neat gift card bow one and all that, but they did not have the foldover tag one. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to try to make it myself. <laughs> so I'm going to put this tutorial out. I'm actually going to do two tutorials on it. I'm going to do one video in the near future on how to use your silhouette and make one. And then how to um, use uh, just one from scratch. So I went ahead and looked through my dies and tried to see what I could do. Although you don't really need any dies to do this. Um, the only reason you would need a die is if you want some decorative edges, but you could use decorative scissors as well if you have that. So I went ahead and made some just out of playing cardstock to try out some different sizes. My kind of standard go-to size tag for myself is a 6x3. That's what these are. And so I went ahead and made a couple of those, but I also made a little shorter one. You know, what if you want a shorter one? Um, yeah, so whatever fits through your die cutting machine if you're using a die, but if you're not using the die, then just make it however you want. So I'm going to go ahead and show you, I just wanted to show you these, um, I'm going to stick this in here so uh, you can see the decorative edge this one has, that has a fold over one, see that kind of curvy and then a scallop and stitched, and then this has that like scaly, lacy sort of edge to it, and I thought, oh, those are pretty. And uh, so I also made one out of some uh, retired Graphic 45 paper, and I love how this turned out. I have stickles on here, and of course the double-sided paper is nice. If you're using single-sided decorative paper, just know that one side would be white. So you might want to either glue two sheets of paper in, or do something, some painting or stamping or something to make it pretty. But um, so otherwise, I used you know the salad or um, the double-sided paper here. Guys are from <laughs> he who must not be named. I'm not gonna say it on here because I don't want to get you know deleted um, after all the work we put into a YouTube channel. Uh, but anyways, um, these dies I just found um, from a few different places and they come from a couple different sets. So this one, let's see, so this curvy one is from here. So you can see that is like right there. This is kind of a similar one, only it has that curve to it. Your basic scallop, which is that one. And then this is this um, sort of lacy, uh, looks like scales to me, I don't know, <laughs> one there. And then I have some other ones that I could do too. Or you could, like I said, you could use decorative scissors for this or just leave it straight. A piece of double-sided paper here. And um, I'm really getting into some digital paper printing. And I thought this one was really, really pretty. It was free and you're allowed to make whatever from it. And that's from two different packs, and I love this little dot. So I went ahead and made myself a double-sided sheet of paper, okay? And I want this to be my main fold-over side. So what you need is, so whatever you're going to make your tag, so for example, this one is a 6-inch tag by 3-inch. So if you, you need to decide on whatever your length is going to be, and that number is just going to stay the same. Then for your width, you're going to decide on what that's going to be, and then you're going to double it, and then add a half inch or a quarter inch for the tab. So for example, this one is six inches, so that's going to stay the same, and then it's three inches wide, so I'm going to double that, so that's three plus three is six, and then I want like a half inch, I prefer a half inch, you can do a quarter inch uh, little tab. So I'm going to do six and a half by six. So hopefully that makes sense too. If it doesn't, leave comments down below and I'll clarify. So the length stays the same. And then the width you're going to double and add your tab. So whatever that's going to be for you. So what if you want a little tiny tag, then just do a tiny version, you know. So let's go ahead and do this size, which is wide by four. So it's like a Project Life card size-ish. Um, so four is going to stay the same. And then it's going to be three plus three plus half. So six and a half that way when you cut your paper out. And then I'll show you the scoring. All right, so let's get going on making this size tag. So my sheet of paper is a little bit bigger right now, so I need to go ahead and trim six and a half 
by six. Keep that for decoration or scrap. So six by six and a half. Okay, like that. I'm gonna go ahead and get my scoreboard out. And we're going to start on the six and a half side, so just find because they're similar. <laughs> um, so that's six and a half. I'm going to get my bone folder out. So what you're going to do is do it at three. And a six. So that gives you your tag, your fold over, and then your tap. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, I'm going to burnish these a little bit so, so it's a little easier to see. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Like that. Okay, so you can kind of see what you've got there. So now we need to make um, our little shape here. Okay. This out so we have our score lines. And now this is where we need to kind of cut away. So this is this piece here is going to be where we make our sort of tag shape, okay, like that. And then this is going to be where we use our decorative edge, or you could just slice it across if you don't have any of those tools. I'll grab my Big Shot, wait fit on my thing, that's why I hardly ever die cut in here on video. But, um, alright, I have a magnetic platform. If you don't have a magnetic platform, you're going to need some washi tape or something to hold the die cut. The die piece down okay because do this curved one with the stitched and scalloped okay so let me do it like this so you guys can see um all right so here's my platform here's my score line so i'm not going to come right here at the top remember we got to keep it the opposite way because we want it to cut down so it's going to be like this but if you do it way at the top you're not going to have a spot for your tag bit to come off so you need to come down about an inch or so you don't even have to measure it if you want to measure it that's great but I just kind of eyeball it so I'm gonna come down a little bit and I'll show you what we do with that in a second and then we're gonna lay this light ever so slightly over the square line and then however won't you want your angle to be okay if you want it more like this if you want a bigger pocket piece because this will be cut out so if you want it more like that <clears throat> then you might want to do it like that. If you want more of an angle, then you need to angle it downward, okay? So I'm going to do kind of something in between, just like that. You need to put your other one on there, or you could use washi to hold that down, okay? And I'm going to feed that through. Let's take a look at that. So this is what you're left with. You're going to have this dangly piece off there, okay? And we're going to leave this. We're just going to remove this right on the square line you already had there. Okay, use that for decoration or whatever. So now you have that shape. Okay, so you can see where it's going here. It's starting to look like something. The only other thing you have to ask yourself, and it all depends on what you do here, is like, for example, on this lacier one here. When I went to do this tab, I did trim off a little bit here so that it wouldn't double up when I folded it over. Tag, you trust, and um, go ahead and line up one of the corners. And then snip that off. And then you're going to use that same corner on the other side to get the same angle. That way you don't have to cut a crooked line. So what you do is you just line it up like that and then now my easier to see on the side I think maybe not uh, so now uh, I have the same angle on both sides then I'm just gonna put a hole in the middle you can see our tag and our fold over okay on that side so pretty all right so now it's just a matter of gluing so you can use double-sided adhesive um, tape you know tear and tape or you can use wet glue so I'm going to fold that. I just need glue along this bottom here, and I need glue on my tab. Is that so? Now that's the bottom, and now it's just a matter of decorating. Um, and you can do any number of things. You can see here I put flowers on here. Um, the point of today's video is really to run through the tutorial because I don't want to make it too long, but um, you can add ribbon in through here. You can stick all sorts of little things in here. It would fit a nice size um, 
probably even put like a tea bag in there, some chocolate, you can put some little fun crafty bits in there, uh, all sorts of things. But I thought, oh, that is the answer to my, <laughs> I don't feel so bad getting left out and not being able to find that fold over tag die. And it really, once you do one or two of them, they, you really start to crank them out uh, very, very easily. And uh, it's a chance to use your edge dies. And uh, oh, I did make one more here. I made a little, this was my first one I made. <laughs> I stuck that in there. I had this, I got this embossing folder with these little bows. Isn't that cute? That, but really, you can just, it's whatever your imagination can do, right? And uh, you can get all sorts of different looks. You can fold them over the other way. You can make it more of a, um, you know, we could have put that die. Um, more straight across if you're looking for that sort of look if you wanted that um, you could probably even make a couple pockets we'll have to think that through but isn't that pretty I love that paper uh, anyway guys I hope that is helpful to you if you're one of if you're like me and you didn't get to get the fold over tag dies from Tuesday morning or whatever and I know I looked I even looked at um, scrapbook.com to see if they had them and they did at one point but they're like $22 and then they were sold out. And I thought, do I really want to pay $22 for it? Do I really want it that badly? Um, when I can just make them myself. So uh, when in doubt, try to make it yourself. <laughs> All right. Hopefully you like that, guys. I love how that turned out. And it's super fun to design your own fold-over tag dies. Make different sizes, different colors. And then you're not limited by the ones that they give you. All right. Thanks. I hope that was a help to you. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment below if you're going to give that a try. Thanks so much for joining me. Hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up. That would be really helpful to me. Have a great day.